we're going to look at how to choose the outcomes in your class. And to do that, we're going to pretend that this is Math 111. Your class uh, name will be listed right here or right over there. And what you're going to do is click on Access Your CCOGs. That's going to open in a new link. And we're going to go into Math. Sometimes you have to scroll up to get to the top of the page, which is a little strange, but just be aware you might have to scroll up or down. So here's Math 111 CCOG. Now I'm going to close this tab. Now in the CCOG, the course outcomes, so these are the course learning outcomes, one through four. They do have numbers next to them. I'm going to scroll down to the crosswalk where there are no numbers for the course outcomes, they're here on the left, but they do go one, two, three, four, in the same order they're written here. The program learning outcomes do have numbers on them, and just to warn you, they're not all gonna be called program learning outcomes. Some of them are gonna be a general ed outcome. This is GE2. And if we scroll down, you can see the institutional learning outcomes right here, which um, are numbered with Roman numerals. There's only four institutional learning outcomes. Uh, and most likely you, you may not even have all four. Okay, so now we know what the outcomes are. So what I'm gonna do is move this over to a new window and I'm gonna slide it to the right side of the screen and let it expand. And then this one will go to the left side of the screen. You just drag it over to the left or over to the right. Uh, you can also print it out. So the way we're gonna enter them you have to edit your course learning outcomes assessment and you can either hit click on it and hit edit settings. That's the way a lot of people do it. Uh, you might be like me and you might click on it first. And if you do that, in order to edit it, you have to scroll way down and under the administration, hit edit settings. So either way you get to this edit screen. The only thing you're gonna change is down here in the outcomes now they're in order, except for PLO6. We're not exactly sure why, but other than that, they have all the course learning outcomes up top. The program outcomes are kind of in this middle area, and then near the, at the bottom are the institutional learning outcomes. If you uh, look on your CCOG, uh, I have one, two, three, four course learning outcomes. So CLO1, CLO2, CLO3, CLO4. Uh, I don't have a fifth or, or any uh, higher up ones than four. So now we're going to go for program learning outcome one. So that's PLO one. Uh, in this class, they're all PLO one except there's a GE two. Now, in order to make this a little more standardized, this is both a program learning outcome and one that needs to be called differently to satisfy the state naming convention. So what we have done is we've named it PLO right here, PLO GE2. Um, it'll also probably say what uh, subject it's in. So you may have one of these funky ones down here. Just be aware of that. Uh, and of course, there's some AG ones and whatever these other letters stand for. Uh, the last one you're going to choose is your institutional learning outcomes. This class only has ILO 3. Your class may have different uh, ILOs may have more than one ILO. Now, I strongly recommend you double check because if you add too many, you cannot remove them later. And uh, you can always come back and add more if you realize that you didn't add, for example, maybe you forgot PLO2, you can come back and add it later. So when you're done, you're going to hit save. You can go either way. Uh, we'll return to course. So the next thing we're going to do is actually assign students uh, ratings in all of these. 